Good morning, happy Wednesday. <clears throat> I am filming live from Connecticut today. Filming, I guess I'm filming. <clears throat> Hi Sue, good morning Heather. How is everyone? I hope you're all doing well. I'm away at a retreat this week uh, teaching and I have my, my some of my friends here with me. So I'm in a whole different place, look at this Beautiful view out here, a chair. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Hi, Helen, how are you? <clears throat> yes, I'm in a beautiful studio. I should show you this quick before I start painting just to, so you see what it looks like. All right, let me turn this around. <clears throat> so here's my easel, but look at this beautiful studio. It's all set up. I have five students and say hi. Good morning. A couple of them are here. Another one's all pop in. And this, I'm gonna paint this flower. I actually don't know what kind of flower it is. Does anybody know? Good morning, Emerson, I miss you. Does anyone know what that flower is? I took this photo um, by the entranceway here to the patio. I got this new thing and you can see this. I don't like that, but what am I gonna do? It's fine. <clears throat> so how is everybody? All right, <clears throat> I think I'm ready. Oh, it's a begonia. Thank you, Heather. I see, that makes complete sense. All right, so I'm gonna do my transparent layer. I've gotten to paint a lot this week. It's been really fun. We did <clears throat> flowers, um, we did a warm up exercise, and then we did flowers, um, both close up of flowers, and then I should show them to you. If I finish early enough, I'll show you what we worked on. And we're actually um, working on a bird um, <clears throat> next. We started it yesterday and we're gonna finish it today. Feels nice to be away from home for a little bit. Ooh, I hear an airplane. Can you hear that? They probably can't hear that. Good morning to Bolivia. Wow, La Paz, Bolivia. And you guys can talk to if you want to. You don't have to be quiet. <laughs> Not used to painting with people behind me and, <laughs> and on the camera. One has to go over there a little bit more. Good morning, Susan. Yes, they're, yes, how fun to have them right here. Hi, Cheryl. I could never paint with that phone right in front of my face. <laughs> She's amazing. I think I just have done it so often that I'm kind of used to doing it. So you know sometimes when I'm painting, I forget that it's there. <clears throat> I forget to talk. <laughs> I love these begonias have like a little bit of like an orange petal and the underneath is more orange and then the inside's yellow. They're so pretty. Good morning, Barb. <clears throat> Hi, Judy. <laughs> yes, how fun to have you all here for the workshop. It has been such a treat. And I'm at, it's called Artist Rising Retreats in Connecticut. It's, um, what's this town called? I already forgot. Glastonbury. Glastonbury. It's near Hartford, <laughs> Connecticut. And we got to go on a field trip yesterday. We went to a Jerry's Artorama, which was so much fun. I don't have art stores like that where I live. You're watching. Hi. Oh, that's right, Barbara. Are you away with your girlfriends? I saw that post that you were going to Myrtle Beach. Or you were already, right? You had mugs or something. Hi, Jackie. Yes, Tanya. Do you get to go to that Jerry's all the time? I had that yellow up a little bit too far in there, but that's okay. Just have to get the background in a little bit. Thank you. Hi, Gail. Move that over just a little bit. <clears throat> yes, you're very lucky to have a Jerry's here. That's nice. Like if you need something, you can just run out and get it. Good 
Good morning, Anita. How are you? Hope you're having a good week. Anita, are you in Florida? I forgot I, I got brown paint yesterday. I might need that. <clears throat> so yeah, where's everybody tuning in from? Fun, as I'm in a completely different place than normal. I should get, let me get brown. I'm going to put another color out here. Michael said, are all your students painting along with you this morning? No, I couldn't have quite coordinated that, Michael. We actually, yesterday <clears throat> in the afternoon, we started a bird, and we just did the transparent layer and the pigment sticks. Good morning, Dawn. And then today, we're going to um, do the next layer on it. So we're kind of in the middle of a painting. I just moved mine out of the way. <clears throat> Maybe next time I can figure out how to do that have everybody paint at the same time, like do a real live lesson like that. That would be like, like what, rubbing my head and patting my stomach and... <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't know if I could even do that. That's so funny. Sacramento Airport heading to Cancun, Mexico. Oh my gosh, that sounds like so much fun. Oh. How long will you be there for a week? East Texas? Ottawa, there's my sister Dawn, Anita's in Florida. How long are you in Florida, Anita? Uh, oh, I don't know how to make that turn off up there. I just, I have my new iPad working today, but I'm probably going to get notifications. I don't have everything set right yet. It always takes me a while. Colburn, Ontario. Is it cold in Ontario? sister there whoops sorry thank you pat or thank you pair oh paraguay retreats that's where i'm gonna go in um next june gosh that'll be here in no time we're almost on june now how does time go so fast <clears throat> that's good Need some yellows in there. Oh, I need some um, brighter, like more oranges in the middle there. I have a couple new colors. Windsor Newton gifted me a few. They have new colors coming out, and they sent me a few. So one of them, I'm going to put it in the middle there, see how it works. It's transparent orange. And I also have another one to play with, too. It's, it's orange lac mineral. Cheryl said cooler today, but it's been in the 90s. Wow, really? I would think it would be so much um, in the 90s in Ontario. We've had perfect weather here. I don't know that it could have been any nicer for this week. I feel like it, this is the first time we've had a week that's this whole spring that's felt like spring. And Connecticut's so pretty. I don't think that I've ever really been to Connecticut at least not in a long time. Maybe I was here when I was in college. Oh, do you get very hot summers there? That's interesting. Tanya said, what else will you guys be doing while you're in Connecticut, aside from the workshop, obviously? Well, it started on Sunday. What? Drinking wine. <laughs> Dr <laughs> drinking wine. That might be one of the things. Oh, we were going to have mimosas this morning. I forgot. Oh, that's Jackie. Where's Jackie? Oh, <laughs> 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 Um, just, we did the field trip to Jerry's and really what well, we've been hanging out. I feel, feel like these are my new friends that I've known for my entire life. Just learning totally. about each other, talking and having fun. It is so relaxing. I think we're going to go out to dinner somewhere in the right nearby this, where we're staying tonight, which will be fun. So yeah, I think the Jerry's outing was our big outing for the week. We spend most of our time here in the studio. I don't think anybody's bored. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, lots of laughing. That's right, Jackie. 
lots of laugh. I don't think I've laughed this much in a long, long time. And we know everything about each other now. <laughs> everything. <laughs> Yes, it is. It's been awesome. All right. I think I made enough of a mess there. I'm going to clean off my, close up my jar, clean off my palette here and do my pigment sticks. Yeah, we didn't even do breakfast yet. We have that yet today before we even dive in. Yes, it is nice, Anita, to be able to paint this much. Really, like, concentrate on doing it all day long. <clears throat> yeah, and it's wonderful, because, like, Pat, who owns the inn here, we, um, she makes us breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We don't have to worry about cooking, cleaning, none of it. It is a treat. Yeah, remind me to show everybody your paintings then when I finish. <clears throat> I'm trying to think about how I want to make um, the green that's in there because it's a little funky. Oh, we painted um, ranunculus kind of up close. Well, first we did a warm-up exercise. Then we did a ranunculus up close, and then we did one... I guess those are those ranunculus that we did the second time too, in a in a vase to kind of get a feel for painting glass and how simple that is. And now we're working on this is the beginning of my we're gonna all doing a bird a blue bird. That's next, and then I probably do another floral this afternoon. We'll start another one, maybe even finish it. We're getting fast, I think. Not that that's ever a goal, but. Colors are pretty, aren't they? And I love painting the same thing with other people because it's fun to see how different they all turn out. They all have their own personality. Anita, sounds like fun. Oh, good morning, Irma. How are you? Oh, and it was so fun being in the art store and like going around and kind of picking out things that, you know, when you shop online, it's a little bit different. I don't, ooh, that's a nice color in there. I shop a little bit differently in person than I do in a real store. Thanks, Karen. Yeah, so I go home tomorrow, and then I have to get ready. I'll be in Rehoboth um, this weekend for an art show on Saturday. So if anybody's in that area, I'd love for you to come say hello. It'll be a little crazy to get ready. Irma said morning, late start here, and no coffee yet. Oh, my goodness, I'm already on my second cup. Maybe you should go get your coffee. Looks, looks a little crazy, but that's all right. <clears throat> What's everybody having? Coffee, tea, or mimosas this morning? We talked about mimosas. I don't know if that's a good idea while we're painting. Good morning, Leslie. Hi, Nancy. Yes, it's a close-up of begonias. There, It's a photo of a begonia plant that's right where you walk in here at the inn where we're staying. It's called the Connecticut River Valley Inn, right? Connecticut River Valley in. A little bit of it down here. Oh, 
think that looks good. I think I'm ready to mix some colors. I'm going to put my pigment sticks off to the side. <clears throat> and then I'll pull this down. Sorry, I'm sure it'll make some crazy noises. Maybe not. Let's see. This is my technical difficulties of doing this. I couldn't find the other one that makes noise. It's a little easier to move, but I didn't bring it. I'm just proud of myself that I remember to bring this along. All right, let's do this. Karen, your coffee's brewing good. Mine's cold, but I don't have a sip of it. <clears throat> can you see that okay? Oops. So you can see the, oh, the lights up there. That's all right. That will work. <laughs> a little bit long. Yeah, maybe. That's a good idea. Thank you. All right, so I need oranges and greens. I want to play with getting a green. Like, that green's a little... Um, going to be a little tricky to mix. A new, oh, you know what? This is just like my other easel that I usually use. But a long time ago, uh, when I moved, um, when I had my office and I was painting there, I got a second easel to use there, and I never used it. And when I was coming here, I brought this with me. So it's just a nice, new, clean version of the easel I use at home. I'm just wondering if you have any tile. Yeah, and same. This is my second tile that I bought back, back I probably bought it three, three years ago, just to have as a spare. And I have not used it until now so I didn't have to bring my the one that you know I usually use is really dirty <clears throat> and I don't want to bring that and put it in the car and that's not too far off I <clears throat> I think I'm going to put a little bit of blue in there maybe I'll put manganese blue hue it's an unusual green it's kind of a blackish dark Maybe even a little purple would be nice. Green. Hmm? It's got a lot of gray. Gray in it. Maybe I'll, I'll put a dash of purple. What, what green did you say you started with? I mean, the gr green? What yeah. green? I, what did I start with? I started with black, I think, and a little bit of... Um, <clears throat> I actually put out a darker green on my palette here that I use sometimes. I'll show you. It's Cor Corbett Green. It's a really nice dark, dark. It's it's very much like sap green. It's just darker. That's getting pretty good, but I think I'd like more of that. So that's the purple, green. I'll do a little bit of this transparent blue. So I have my colors out on my palette a little bit differently too. Because I'm teaching, I laid things out differently. <clears throat> I'm going to move that right up here. Do a mid-tone of that. <clears throat> what would I make it green, too? And Sarah's wondering what black did you use? I used um, <clears throat> chromatic black. That's been my favorite lately. Here's, it's a gambling color. And someone's also asking, is that cerulean blue? Um, that was um, manganese blue hue. All right, you're going to have to come with me every Wednesday because this is nice. Yeah, Izzy, Izzy's out of her job. <laughs> yeah, I do have Isabel, but Isabel doesn't like to get up at that early in the morning to help me. <laughs> I have that. Yeah, yeah. And Jackie walked in and she could hear me talking on her phone because she's in here listening. It's too funny. All right, I need, I still need a lighter color that's a little more blue, I think. I could not have asked for a more fun group to have with me this week painting. 
Oh, that's nice, right? That's a good, it's a good dark so now I'm just saying, okay, since you have an assistant there with you, can you tell us what colors of blue you have laid out beside the cerulean I need? Oh, and it's not cerulean. So I have, no, wait, let me, I need more of it anyway. This is um, a, a French ultramarine blue, and then this is manganese blue hue. So it's not cerulean. It does look kind of like cerulean, but it's a transparent blue that's a little more like a turquoise kind of color. No, wait, I'll show you. So I'm getting it all over my hands. Manganese blue hue. And then this is, <clears throat> sometimes I use that video blue extra pale, but this week I'm using radiant blue. It's a gambling color. Whoops, sorry, I'm bumping you around. <clears throat> so I'll put a little bit of that out too, because it's feeling a little dry. I'm not used to having my paints out for so many days too, without my little cover. Look how dirty I am already, my goodness. <clears throat> Did you mix the light blue then, and what color of pink is that? Oh, that's radiant pink. That is also a gambling. That's radiant pink. <clears throat> um, so, no, I think we're, I think that's good. I'm just going to go with that. I can mix something more if I need to. I'm going to mix some like. Okay. Enjoy. Wow, I'm loving it. Are you kidding? <laughs> Look how pretty that is. Oh, all right. A little lighter. Someone says that you should talk about your trip to France next summer. Oh, so next summer in June, I think it's June 20th to the 29th, I'll be going to Paragord Retreats, and you can follow them here on Instagram. And... We'll be doing something just like this, only it'll be in France, and we will be um, out painting, you know, in little towns, and then finding inspiration and bringing back. I think I, what I'm thinking right now is we might more, do more like watercolor while we're out and about touring around and bring back our inspiration of what we paint and what we take photos of and then do oils in the studio. I think that would be <clears throat> a little more doable. Not sure. Like, I want to be able to see everything, too. I don't want to spend all my whole time. Um, <clears throat> I need a little bit more of that color. Do that. Painting outside with oils, because then once you're kind of set up, I think you have to commit to what you're doing, and I want to be able to go, go on a whim, follow something that sounds like fun. That's nice. So I'm making that color a little bit more neutral for in the shadow areas. I should do that with this too. I'm adding a little bit of the, the blue in there. And that makes it less vibrant. More orange in it. Oh, yeah, let me think about that. I kind of think that was on my to-do list before I came here. There, is there a link? You know, there's a link. I, there might be a link in my bio here in Instagram. If you go into my bio thing, like that link in bio, I think there's a link in there. But I'm going to add it to my website as soon as I get back home. I had a lot going on between getting ready for this and getting ready for the um, outdoor art show in Rehoboth. I did not meet all my goals last week. It's kind of nice to be away and not worry about it, but I'll get it all done when I get back. Um, thinking about if there's any colors I'm missing, I might still want to do like kind of a light blue, bluish green. So I'll pull a little bit of that out. You do have it on your website, Kim. Oh, I do have it on my website. Thank you, Jen. Yes, I do have it on my website. Yay. So I think that's good. I think that's a good good palette. How do you pronounce or spell that place in France you're going it's to? It's P-E-R-I-G-O-R-D Retreats. Great. It's in the south of France. <clears throat> Yeah, it sounds like so cool. Did you Very do that, cool. Jen? Did Jen? I know, but 
Wonderful. Um, oh, I know. <clears throat> okay, I think that's good. <clears throat> I'll get my brush out and put my darks in. Here I am. I'm, I'm getting lazy. I'm not even looking in here anymore. New, yeah, new tile. Oh my goodness, look how much I wasn't even. I love it. Thanks, Cheryl. I'll have to move that over. So I did get a new iPad last week, and now I don't want to get it all dirty, at least for like a week or two. <laughs> and maybe you could share how you do the gridding on your photos. Yeah, so... Um, I grid off my board into um, four by fours, and then on my iPad, I use this um, app called Grid Hashtag. Do you see it down here? It's a green tile looking thing. And all you have to do is find, you know, this will link to your photos, and you pull up your photo, and it adds a grid. So you can change, you know, how many, how fat the lines are, or whether there's, I always do four by four, but you can do any proportion. Nope, oh, that didn't do it because I didn't say yes. Let's do that. Oh, I don't want to reset the grid. Anyway, you get the idea because then I'll go in there and have the wrong grid. <laughs> uh, where's my photos? I think I saved this in here. There it is. <clears throat> so it's super easy. Said I missed what button you pushed to get to do that. <clears throat> well, you have to download. It's an app. And it's called Grid Hashtag. And that's what it looks like. So you have to go into your app store and download that. <clears throat> Such a pretty flower. <coughs> oh, I need a sip of coffee. <coughs> yeah, it's a separate app. <clears throat> Sorry, I got tickle in my throat. <clears throat> so there's a little, <clears throat> it's a little bit darker rain in there. <clears throat> Oops, sorry, I'm bumping you. I'm going to let some of those bits of color from the pigment stick stay there, so I have to kind of consciously think about that, or they disappear. <clears throat> more of a shadow color I'm going to add in here. Is anybody doing anything fun today? <clears throat> you guys painting? <clears throat> My favorite day to do that <clears throat> paint when I have a whole day ahead of painting. It's so fun. Getting another paper towel here. <clears throat> Tanya, you're going to paint this afternoon. Good. Car always carving out time to do the fun stuff. Oh, 
thank you, Sarah. A hug from Chile, thank you. Hmm. I just have to kind of give a hint of these leaves in the background. I don't need to really paint them in um, too literally. I just want to give a feel that they're there. <clears throat> Hi, Nancy. Back on central time. Good. Do you like being on central time? Where is that? Um, in the middle of the United States, right? What time is it there? Is that, oh, you, your time's different in Chicago. Oh. It's an hour behind. Hmm. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, so for, <clears throat> for my um, event here, I have new friends from Chicago, from Tennessee, right? Is mm -hmm. Tennessee and Philadelphia and Virginia. Oh. <laughs> My sister's on too. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Your sister who was going to join yeah. us. Yeah. Aww. I need to do a little bit here at the back side of this. It's always that bit of adding enough that you know what's there, but not doing it too much. <clears throat> Yes, from Chicago, yeah, but was in Phoenix and missed you in the mornings. Oh, because that's way too early when you're in Phoenix, right? That's crazy early. I know I did talk about doing one of these like on YouTube or something and doing it earlier. I never finished thinking about that. <clears throat> There's a spider on there. She said, I'm from Indiana and we're in two time zones. I'm on Central but used to work on Eastern. Oh, in the same state? It's so confusing. That is confusing. So people that you know that live near you live in a different time zone. I guess the time zone has to switch somewhere, right? <clears throat> up a little bit more yellow here. What time is it? 8.30, 8.33. Oh, I'm good. I don't have to hurry. <clears throat> it says add a moderator to your live video. I do have one sitting right behind me. <laughs> I love it. That hour goal. Sometimes that gets a little elusive, but I usually do it. Um, I think I want to. Yeah, that's better. It's starting to come together. <clears throat> I see I wanted this to be a little darker right there. Thank you. She said it's luminous. It's good to hear. When I'm at this part where it's a little, still a little messy, I lose my confidence all the time. It's like, is this going to come together? My sister says so beautiful, Kim. 
him. Wish I could have joined you this time with me. <laughs> yes, I wish too. We'll look for France. You had too much busy stuff happen on. Yes, France. Yes, definitely. Mm-hmm. Let's aim for that. <laughs> we all may end up in France together. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. Lisa asks if you like your easel lamp. Oh, yeah. So this is these are the lamps that um, Pat got for the retreat. It's called an off-light. You see it up there. And this is what it looks like. And really, I love it. I think I'm going to buy one for um, my studio. It's really nice. <clears throat> I just have to card these out a little bit more. I think I need a little dark in here. Pull that forward. In here too. <clears throat> I want to let a little bit of that bright blue show there, so I don't want to do it too much. I like my background. <clears throat> Oops. Is that up? I like this little piece. <clears throat> um, so now I'm almost ready to go in with my lighter colors. I might put a little bit of um, a lighter Oh, yeah, right? It needed that, didn't it? Yeah. I knew it was kind of missing something. I do have it there a little. Yeah, that helped. Just putting in where I have <clears throat> to let some of them kind of go back, and then I'll go in and do my highlights at the end. Yeah, I like how soft the background looks. Mm-hmm. I'm looking to see if there's any spots where I have the white showing through. Not that it would matter, but. Someone says, I love the touches of bright blue for me. Yes. Yeah, that made a big difference. <clears throat> yeah, it felt it fell a little flat or something, and I felt like it needed that. <clears throat> that was Jackie. That was Jackie. Our very own. Our very own Jackie. Sorry, Jackie. <laughs> Is she out in that chair? <laughs> Wait, I have to show you. We're all laughing here because Jackie made that comment. <laughs> and there she is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, too funny. <laughs> we are having too much fun. We sat up and laughed last night till I don't know what time. <laughs> How we get up and paint in the morning, I have no idea. <laughs> it wasn't that late, maybe 10 or 11. Well, we stayed up a little later. <laughs> you stayed up later. Just a little bit. Yeah. Oh, were you up really late? Just a little bit. Oh, my gosh. <clears throat> thinking about yeah and I'm trying to like pay attention like this is much more in shadow up in here <clears throat> and the highlight really is this and then just those little little bits where the light's catching on the petals and then Allie says hi Kim sounds like a great time oh yes so fun someone else loves the atmosphere <laughs> yeah it's nice to be in a new space too to paint in a new space <clears throat> nice to have everything taken care of and not <clears throat> just be able to be creative and not have to do laundry <laughs> all the things it is a treat I really 
it does kind of, they all line up, don't they? That helps. <clears throat> I think something's wrong. I think I need to have a little bit more darks up mm -hmm. in here. Mm -hmm. It's feeling all a little bit too... Um, Make the bud pop. Yeah, the bud needs to be the hero. I can always add lights on top. Yes, yes, it's an artist retreat in Connecticut. We've been here since Sunday. And it has been wonderful. Yeah, it needs that. I'm still not quite getting it though. The that bud isn't really popping it. So add a little more. It's always that balance then of not pushing it so far that it it go like what is it? Um, <laughs> the point of no return. That's just, I'm adding a little bit of purple in there just because it's the complement mm -hmm. of the um, the yellow. And it, it is giving a little bit more dimension. Mm -hmm. I think this needs to come out there a little bit. It's getting there. Shelly said, oh, oh, a retreat sounds like so much fun. I went painting with my cousins to Whistler, British Columbia. It was very fun and so relaxing. Yes. Mm -hmm. Striving to make fewer strokes. Yes, few, like intentional, thoughtful strokes make such a big difference. I can't quite get them yet here, but let me think a little more. It's getting there. Maybe I need to work on the bud itself a little bit. And have it have a little bit more interest. Sorry, I'm thinking. Okay, now I need a... I need more, I'm mixing up a little bit that's more white. <laughs> What's breakfast? Mm -hmm. And looking around yeah. to see, like I didn't have enough darks. Now that I've added my darks, this needs a little, this is too much of a shape. And that's, it's just really a shadow. So I'm just going to drag that just a little bit. Soften that. And then I think I can go in and, is that a little messy in there? Yeah, this is complicated. So it, I always say it's, I always find it amazing that I, I love painting peonies and I'm afraid to paint roses. Well, this is, this would be in the rose category. Somehow this is challenging. Okay, I think I just need to do a little, I don't know that it's getting better, but I definitely need to do this little something on my brush. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm holding.
more than my breath. <laughs> I think that's more dimensional. Maybe it needs one little dollop there. Wow. Yeah. Those were the bits I was missing, I think. I'm going to have to kind of step back and think. And see how I always look in here. Yeah. When I'm painting like this, you really can see a lot more of what's happening. Mm -hmm. Is it a ranunculus? No, it's it's a it's a begonia. A begonia. <laughs> she got up and stepped away. Oh, yeah. And she looks in the phone. Yep. Her perspective is different. Mm -hmm. Let me just see it objectively. Yeah, and you can do that with your own phone. Just put it in there and and see what what it looks like. Yeah. Or look in a mirror. They say you can look in a mirror, at, mm -hmm. or you can. Turn it upside down. Turn it, uh, turn it upside down is a great idea. Yeah. Oh, this is so pretty. Thanks, Barbara. Okay. Mm -hmm. Maybe just this little bit, and I think I'm about done. Mm -hmm. Eight forty-six. Let me <laughs> sign it, and then I want to show you everyone's paintings over here. There's my little signature. And my painting. Oh, the reference. The painting. Those are fun colors, aren't they? There's my palette. And then I'm going to show you everyone's paintings that we've done so far. So right now we're working on birds. But here are our paintings. So we did a warm-up exercise. Okay, thank you. And then the ranunculus. And isn't it fun how different they all look? And they're all beautiful. And then we did these in a vase yesterday. But you can't even tell which one's mine. And then this is what we're working on today. So thanks for coming and hanging out today. I hope you guys all have a fun, creative day. And I'll see you again next week. I'll post this. I won't get this posted up to YouTube or to my website till I get home. Probably won't get it done till next week. <clears throat> but I will get it up there if anybody wants to watch it again. Thank you, natural girl. <laughs> Thanks, Karen. <laughs> Goodbye, guys. Have a wonderful day.